Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, today I'm actually going to be talking about, well, in case you haven't read the title yet for some weird reason, I'm going to be talking about the Mandela Effect. Um, before I do though, just to reiterate kind of what it is, um, for those who don't know, the Mandela Effect is the, in short, it's a, it's a collective false memory. Um, in other words, the Mandela effect, it's kind of like, it's a domino effect specifically directed towards the idea of a false memory. Someone will present, like, an idea of something being the case, um, for example, um, the peanut butter brand Jif. There was a point in time where people believed that it was called Jiffy instead of Jif because of a competitive uh, company that was actually um, going up against them at the time. Quite frankly, I don't know if they still are. Skippy's, I think, is what the brand is called. Because Skippy's actually was, you know, ended that way, a lot of people seem to have a false memory of Jif doing the same thing and calling it Jiffy's instead. But this was never the case. This is the perfect example of what is called the Mandela Effect. Now, my personal thoughts on the Mandela Effect are kind of hit and miss depending on the actual false memory that you refer to. In the case of that one, it's like, meh. You could bypass it. It's kind of funny to think about, but meh. But there are some... Where it's like, really? A good example of where I would think that would actually be the death of um, 80, 70s, 80s, and at least sometime in the 90s, artist Michael Jackson. Twice this has happened. But people have claimed um, Michael Jackson to be dead... The second time, I believe, was actually the case. But what about the first time? Well, it kind of went both ways. The first time, the false memory was that he was dead. But the second time, and this is kind of where why it goes both ways, people keep to this day saying that they see Michael Jackson out in the street. But there have actually been legitimate records of him passing away at this point. Not, you know, rumors of him going, of him being dead or anything like that. But, you know, actual situations where people would, like, do that. And I, 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 I'd look at a scenario like that and go, really? Well, 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 well. The way I see it, if it doesn't impact you, don't force it to impact you. False memories can be very interesting. On that matter, it's a kind of kind of like a hit and miss. Um, I'll use a more personal experience version of the Mandela effect, and I'm gonna use a location that nowadays everyone's just like, eh, no. But back in the early 90s, many people who are around my age, a little bit older, a little bit younger, n have definitely heard of the location and have been to multiple times the location, Chuck E. Cheese's. When I was much younger, they used to set parties and they were, you know, they, they, they would have like, it wasn't animatronics, it was actually people in suits. But there were so many individuals, because of locations like McDonald's, where they had the Hamburglar, and obviously Ronald McDonald, and one other that I actually forget the name of, so let me know in the comments below if the, the one I'm thinking. I, I know I'm forgetting one. It's the purple dude. I just don't remember his name. But anyway, um, because of that kind of aspect, people started getting convinced around this time 
that the same attributes were presented at Chuck E. Cheese's. But the reality of it is, I've been there enough to know this, that's not the case. There are two. People thought there were like four. And all of them were basically taking from McDonald's and adding one more of their own. The obvious, the mouse. But the reality of it is that there were really only two constants. This is a more personal experience example of what the Mandela Effect is. It's one of those things, I think the Mandela Effect as well is one of those things where in the moment it's going on, you would look at it and go, oh really? And you try to see it for yourself, only to come to realize either it's completely fake, or you see so much of it that you start believing it. Falling into that effect yourself. The further down the line you go, the more you, when you look back, you're like, wow, can't believe I thought that. Or wow, I can't believe they thought that. You know, depending on where you stood or where you stand. Actually, the perfect example of this kind of idea, for me, would probably core off of the the Mandela Effect example of the Berenstein Bears. Or should I say the Berenstain Bears? For the longest time, when I was much younger, one of the books I read was exactly that. I never really saw the show, but I did read a couple of the... Co- the co- picture... Well, yeah, it was one coloring book, I think, but there were some picture books I had on the Berenstain Bears. Here's the thing, though. So many people, including myself back then, thought it was spelled... The last part was spelled S-T-E-I-N. And as a kid, I believed it. But that was never the case. It was S-T-A-I-N. I realized this and I was like, huh? Either that or it was the other way around. It's been a long time since I thought about that. But the idea is that The Berenstain Bears was a perfect example of this because I used to... It's been so long that I might have this reversed. I haven't thought about it in a long time. But... It is one of those situations where... I think it's because of, like, the show that was presented. No one pays attention to the credits or the titles most of the time. So the show that's presented, you'd watch it and you'd hear the way it sounds. Just... Based off how it sounds, you try to spell it out yourself. So many people did that to the point where it was like, it must be this. But it wasn't. Looking back on it, I'm like, being someone who gets bothered by spelling big time, it bothers me that I didn't realize this then. But I was a child, so there's an exception there. The Mandela Effect is something that these are, th- I've given three very good examples of what it does to the human, four actually, four examples of what it does to the human mind. And it's one of those things that in the moment, you either believe it or you're like, <laughs> okay. And then in the future, you're like, you're, it's just a facepalm thing. But it is humorous to think about it at the same time. It's one of those things that, it's one of those many events where you can look back on it and laugh that particular phrase. But regardless of one way or the other on this, I do have a lot of interest in different psychological effects. And this one definitely comp- it definitely covers that um, particular category. I don't know. Have you guys, did you guys at a point ever have any kind of Mandela effect experiences of your own? If so, let us know in the comments below. If you liked this video, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. Um, Want to check out any other discussion rant type videos, whether it's like this or completely opposite or whatever it might be, uh, click the link on the side of my head over here where 
you'll be able to find quite a few of them at this point. Um, however, if that's not quite floating your boat, you want to find something else, whether it's our gaming side of the day or a different vlog type video, let's link on this side. Maybe you'll find something you may like. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, everyone, and we hope to catch you guys in another. See you guys later.